Hi everybody, let's take this rundown tool here in Unreal Engine 5.4's motion design tool set and connect it through a deck link board to an ATEM so that we can get overlays in our video. So uh, here on my screen capture, this is just a zoom window so you can see what the ATEM is outputting right now. And so it's just my camera and, and that's all fine. What we want to do is be able to use the rundown tool in Unreal to output titles and text and stuff to go over this video, right? So if I do a preview, for example, uh, this first channel just has some text and a green bar. So nothing really special there. But the idea is that we want that to come in animated, have it overlay the camera video and uh, all of this uh, awesome motion graphics tool set now can work with an alpha channel using our decklink board and our ATEM. So for this setup, I do have a decklink duo here. So the decklink duo in this computer is uh, an HD output and it has four SDI connectors plus a Genlock connector. So the base connector is just the Genlock sync. And then we have four SDIs and these can be either inputs or outputs. They could be individual. Uh, but what we're going to do here is set up the connectors in pairs. So Decklink Duo 1, if I click on the setup here and we go to connections, so Duo 1 is going to have control over SDI 1 and 2. So that is the uh, the bottom two SDI connectors. Again, the very bottom connector is Genlock. So it's actually the, you know, the second two connectors up. Uh, so at any rate, uh, SDI 1 and 2 are going to be Decklink Duo 1. Okay. And, uh, you know, this has four connectors. So Decklink Duo 2 is set up so that it has outputs uh, 3 and 4. All right. So uh, for this demo, I'm going to be using Duo 1 and uh, using it to output both the RGB fill as well as the black and white mask, the key uh, for the overlays. So I'll set this aside for now and now set up that broadcast in our rundown tool. So there's a button here that opens up our broadcast window. I already have it open, so I'll switch. I've got one channel of output. There's a plus button here. We can have as many channels as our GPU and CPU could handle. Uh, but for now, we'll just use this one output for full screens. And here on the uh, right-hand side, we have our output services, all the different ways that we can output our um, videos. So here I've got my Black Magic and I've got my Decklink Duo 1. So I'm gonna click and drag that onto full screens. And now full screens will output that channel out the Decklink Duo 1. So I'll select that and uh, let's move this over here so that when I click this drop down, we can see the full configuration. And we have an output type of either fill or fill and key. And I do want fill and key. This way I'll get my alpha channel in one of the SDI outputs and I'll get the fill in the other. Uh, we'll keep Decklink Duo 01 and I am going to output at 30 frames a second because that's what my ATEM is set up for. Make sure we hit apply. And with that, I should be able to start all channels and we've got a green light. So the video is sending out to the ATEM, uh, but we're not seeing anything because we're not sending anything. So let's go back to our rundown. And uh, the preview here happens independent of the output. So this is just so we can look at what we're doing. But if I want to uh, send it to the ATEM, I would hit this take in. And so now this is actually being sent out of this broadcast. So this is what the broadcast looks like, except we're not seeing it on the ATEM. And that's because on the ATEM, I just have my camera channel uh, selected. So if I select the input that the, um, the fill SDI is set to, and uh, this is what it looks like on that ATEM. So I am getting the output from our uh, deck link from uh, rundown. So I can hit uh, take out and we'll get our animation and it leaves. And I can take in again and we've got that RGB happening. Now at the same time, I can switch to another channel on my ATEM to show the alpha, which is the key. So if I show that channel, we just have a black and white bar. So I take out and we've got the animation in alpha, take in, and there's our animation in alpha, take out. So great. So uh, on my ATEM, I actually have uh, input number three is receiving the alpha channel and input number four is getting the red, green, blue of the uh, actual image itself. 
And if I switch to my input two, that's my camera. So now I want those titles to overlay. So let's take a look at the setup on the ATEM. It's pretty simple. Now this is a ATEM SDI. So we have a total of four inputs and we have one upstream key and one downstream key. Now we can use the upstream key if we want, but we usually we kind of hold on to that for uh, keying green screens and such. But I mean, just to show I can expand this and say that, all right, I'm going to use a Luma key and the fill source is going to be camera four, which is the uh, red, green, blue. And the key source is camera three. And that's going to be the alpha from uh, Unreal Engine. And so if I put that key on air, now we've got that overlay and I can go back to uh, here and I can uh, play that out and off we go. And I can select some other title and take that in. And now we've got a different title and take that out. And so that's working with the upstream key. But again, um, usually we reserve this for uh, green screen. So I'm going to take that off the air and instead use my downstream key. The setup is pretty much the same though. With our downstream key, uh, again, fill source is going to be camera four and key source is going to be camera three. So that's going to be all we need to set up for that. And I can activate it on air and we, we don't see anything because I don't have anything uh, being broadcast, right? My broadcast is completely blank. Uh, but if I go ahead and hit take in on this, we'll get those two lines coming in. Now, the nice thing is that on the upstream key, we also have this auto button. So we can just like fade that out and then hit auto and fade it back in. And while it's in, we can animate it out. So uh, of course, Rundown has a lot of tools in it. So if I start here, I can take in on uh, this initial piece of text and then we can go ahead and take next. And so that's just gonna change the text and take next. And that swings in another title. Uh, take next is gonna kick that out and do another pair. And so uh, we'll have to do another tutorial later on how we set up all this transition logic between multiple titles. Of course, I can hit take out to get rid of that. And we're all set. So the main thing for setting this up is that your deck link board needs to have multiple pairs of outputs and they need to be configured to work together. So this is SDI one and two on this deck link duo. And then on your uh, broadcast settings for the deck link board in rundown, you'll want to, uh, well, I can't change anything while it's running, so I'm going to stop that output. Uh, you'll want to make sure that your configuration is going to output fill and key. And finally, you'll want to use your ATEM uh, control software to make sure that the, the fill source and the key source are selected properly so that you can use the on air for that. And of course, if you've got constellations, you've got lots more downstream keys and lots more inputs and all to work with. And uh, you can do some really great complex stuff. So that's the setup. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.